In this video, I'm gonna give you the ultimate basketball training schedule. Well, at least in theory, this is the ultimate training schedule. This isn't always gonna be perfect, right? Some days you don't have the time, you don't have the resources, you can't get in the gym, whatever it may be. It's never gonna be perfect, and we know that. Plus, everyone's ideal training schedule actually should be a little bit different. But if I had to give you one training schedule as kind of a template, this would be it. Then you can work off of it, be flexible, all that. So let's dive into it. First off, we'll cover your skills training workouts. How I see this is Monday and Wednesday, you're gonna do your more intense training sessions. So preferably these are live sessions where you're with a partner or with a small group and you guys are playing defense on each other. Also on these days, you'll have two to three focuses max and you'll really dive into those focuses. Now, if you don't have a training partner or training group, trust me, I understand the circumstances. I do think most players can go a little bit harder to try to find these things. And I do think that this is super important. So you're getting these live reads and you're learning how to train with defense, with competition. Plus you guys can just push each other and hold each other accountable, but you're not always gonna have a partner or a small group. So even if these aren't live workouts, so to speak, these are definitely your intense workouts where you really focus in on a few things. You go hard. These are usually to me between an hour and an hour and a half long. And I'm making sure to really make strides during these days. So then Tuesday and Thursday are gonna be your light skills training session. It doesn't mean that these are BS sessions. They're just shorter, a little bit lighter. And these to me are usually also a little bit more all around. So maybe you go 10 minutes ball handling, 10 minutes uh, touch around the rim, 15 minutes shooting. You're kind of switching up here and there. I want you to cover more things in these workouts. Or sometimes if you do want to switch it up, this can just be kind of a shoot rep workout however you want to do it the main point here is that these are lighter i usually cut these around 45 minutes again doesn't mean that you're not going hard here we're just not pushing our body a crazy amount also on these days there's no defense live training can get really intense so we want to make sure to give your body a little bit of a chance to reset to recover then moving on to friday or the last weekday this is going to be what we call your flex day so if you're tired after a long week yeah this can probably be one of those tuesday thursday lighter style sessions if you're feeling good you're like yo i feel amazing it's friday Let's get to it. Then you can push yourself into one of these kind of Monday, Wednesday, more intense style workouts. This could also just be playing pickup, going out and hooping. And we'll talk a little bit about this at the end of the video, which I think is super important. So this is gonna be your chance to listen to your body, get flexible, understand where you're at, and then make a decision based on that. All right, so let's move on to the strength training side of things. Now, the way we're gonna do this is matching up our intensity. So on the court, your intense workouts are Monday, Wednesday, and usually Friday, whereas your lighter workouts are those Tuesdays and Thursdays. So what we're gonna do with our strength workouts is just match these up. We're gonna go intense Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then lighter on that Tuesday and Thursday. Now, by doing this, we're doing something called consolidating our stress. This basically means that instead of going the same intensity every day, we're going almost like a little wave here, right? So we get intense, right? We really push ourselves. Then the next day we can recover a little bit, still make some results here, but then go back up to that intense day the next day. Instead of doing what I used to do, which is going maybe hard on the court and light in the weight room. And then the other day switching it, going hard in the weight room, light on the court. That way every day is like this. We never get a chance to recover. So again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be these intense days in the weight room. Typically, this will be lower body, right? It's just what's more taxing for hoopers in the weight room. Then Tuesday, Thursday, we'll go upper body. You can add some mobility in there, check other boxes. But these, I wanna be lighter sessions. You're really not taxing your body too much. Now, in terms of those Monday, Wednesday, Friday sessions, what are we doing? Are they all the same? Are we switching it up? And the answer is yes, we're definitely gonna switch these up. How that happens is gonna be based on you as an athlete, what your needs are, what time of the year it is, what training block you're in. But I do have a general structure here. And that starts with Monday, which is a little bit more power based so we're really pushing ourselves to move fast on this monday this is because you'll have a sunday off right beforehand so you'll be coming in a little bit more fresh ready to really push your nervous system here then on wednesday you're kind of in the middle of the week it's hump day this is going to be a shorter strength based workout so we'll probably lift a little bit heavier weight here it'll be lower reps lower amount of time in this workout so we're still getting a good strength stimulus without killing our body and then friday we're going to end out with higher reps it's the end of the week we can kind of afford to push ourselves a little bit here now moving on to the last ingredient that i see to be truly crucial for this training regimen which is pickup games i think every hooper out there should be playing pickup basketball at least twice a week in these games you get to put everything to the test you have help defense you have teammates to pass to you have defense to be played you have all the factors that go into actually playing basketball, which is what we're working for, right? Plus it's conditioning, you're learning how to play as a team, and it's unstructured, which means that you're going out and you don't have to worry about a coach, 
telling you what to do. Maybe a little bit about our teammates, right? We don't want to make enemies, but we don't really care if we make a bad shot sometimes or try something new. We don't have a crowd watching us or our parents watching us. We just have full freedom to go out and try the tools that we've been working on. So especially if you're not doing live workouts on that Monday and Wednesday because you don't have a partner or a group to train with, I would strongly suggest trying to go find good pickup games. Now, even if you can't find a good game of five on five, that's okay. Preferably we have that, but even three on three, we're just going to play one on one with your friend. It's going to help you see huge results when it's time to actually put these skills into a game. So we checked off pickup games. Now the last thing I'll add in is that sometimes you can throw in these lighter shooting workouts when you want to. So these can be just going to the court on maybe a Monday and a Friday, getting up shots for 30 minutes. I don't want you to really push yourself here. And I would say to stop at about 45 minutes max, but I do think these are very valuable sessions. And it really just comes down to listening to your body. Some weeks you'll do zero, some weeks you'll do three. But again, just another example of being flexible. So now you have your training schedule here. Again, I want you to be flexible. Make sure that you're adjusting this based on your situation, what you need, all of that. But I've seen this work time and time again for athletes of every level. I've done this with pro athletes. I've done this with college players. I've done this all the way down to middle school players. This is what we do at our summer academy here at Detail Miami. And it works pretty well. Players are tired at the end of the week but they're not so tired that every single workout is a grind that they have to push through and they're not really getting results from it it's also how i kind of structure my virtual academy training programs so if you want to go check those out as well the link will be in the description as always thank you so much for tuning in stay tuned like subscribe you guys know the deal i'll catch you next time.